Hello everyone and welcome back to the fifth episode of the Lua build series. I hope you're all well and staying safe. In this episode I'm going to be showing you how to import any type of image into your Lua scripts here in Stormworks. Yes, that means that you can have any type of backgrounds that you would like, any types of images, any types of icons in any of your displays here in Stormworks. I'll be showing you how to get everything hooked up, what programs you'll need to use, how you can get it all working, and finally we'll actually put it on a screen here in game. But before we get started, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below anything else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. Why there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified on my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this episode. So getting started, we're back here at the Creative Island and I've got the workbench and the example that we've been using in this build series already just over here. Now we've gone through how to do a data screen to how we can do a loading screen to how we can do a touch screen. And this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a logo into my loading screen. Now this doesn't have to be a logo, this could be absolutely anything, a background, this could be anything you want to do. You don't even need to put it on the loading screen, you could put it on the background of your data screen, you can pretty much put it wherever you want to. Now it's actually relatively easy in how to do this. The first fundamental thing is where do I want it? Well I want an icon to come up here on my data screen while it's loading up. Okay, now simply we could do it and we could go into the Lua and we just need to understand how this works. Now you can see that this is my loading screen just over here. It goes over and it actually displays out on my screen itself. Now you can actually add anything you want into it. You'll notice on these Lua blocks they have a video input. As long as you go into your Lua script and you're not clearing the screen, you've already learned about this, that you can clear the screen, that clears it of anything on the background just over here. Um, if you don't clear it, if you just leave it as is, it means you can actually overlay your Lua scripts. So for example here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into design, I'm just going to increase the size by one, and we're going to go and add a new video input. I'm going to show what we're talking about. So we're going to add in a video input, and this is going to be camera. I'm going to overlay my loading screen on top of a camera. So once we've got that in, we're going to go and grab it just over here, and we're going to put it through to that Lua block. We can just update it and I'm just going to go and put a camera in here, place it down, let's get, actually we already have a camera so we can use that one we already have and let's just connect the video just over there, perfect. And now you should see that my data screen is actually overlaying on top of that video. As you can see there, there I am, it's on top of it because you can overlay things in Lua. So that's really cool. So we're going to use the same principle for how to get our logo on the screen itself. So to do that, we're obviously not going to be using a camera for this example. So we can go and delete our camera off. Now we can actually get into it. So I'm gonna get another Lua script just over here and I'm gonna use that overlay. I just copied and pasted it. You guys can put a new one down, search for it, put it down, exactly the same thing, okay? So once we have that in, we obviously need some script in here. I'm going to delete everything out and that's where we come into the next part of this tutorial and that's going to be crazy fluffy ponies image to lua generator now we're over here on the crazy fluffy ponies image to lua this is a really cool tool it literally converts your jpegs over into lua script really really nice now the first thing you're going to need is actually going to be an image itself now this is up to you and what programs you want to use. Personally, I like to use Photoshop, but in this video, I'm gonna show you a very, very easy way to actually get an image in here into the right pixel count. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's just open up one of my logos. Fantastic, so I've got one of my logos up now and this is just in your Windows Photo Viewer. It's very basic, very easy, everyone should have this. And this is a very high res one. So I know this is not going to work if I try and upload it into Grazy Fluffy Pose tool. Now, the nice thing with, photo, with this Photo Viewer is you can actually right click on it and you can resize the image. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna choose a custom definition size. Now, the nice thing about this is you can simply just go, well, what screen am I using? Now, if I was using a one by one screen, it's, I know that's a 32 pixel screen. If I'm using a two by two, it's 64 pixels. 
So it's up to me now on where I want to do this. Now you could do the same thing with paint. That once again, this is completely up to you and what type of photo program you want to use to get your images. But I'm just going to use this and I'm going to use it as a 32 by 32 image. Okay. Just like that, I'm going to save a resized copy. And that's the copy that I'm going to use to import into my tool that we're using. So the next thing I want to do is we want to come in here and we want to click on the select image. Once we click on the select image, we can actually go and select that logo that we just resized and saved. So I'm going to do that. Once you've selected it, what happens is it starts actually generating the code for it. Now you can choose the color depth if you want to. You will notice that defaultly it's straight away it went to a 32 by 32 pixels, which is perfect. You can see the image just over here. And we also have the actual string itself, the Lua script, just over here. We don't actually have to do anything else. As I said, you can upload as many pictures as you want to. It's completely up to you. You can do different sizes. This is, as I said, just a simple 32 by 32, and that's why I resized it. What we're going to do now is we're going to go in here into the Lua script, and we're going to go Control A and Control C. We're going to copy all this script. We can then go back into the game, and you can see I'm in the game, and we're now going to go to the edit script of that Lua block that we already had, and we're simply just going to delete everything and paste over the script that we got from the tool. Okay, it's all in here. We can click done. We can then click on update, confirm, and spawn it in. Our image now should be showing on that screen. Let's go see. There's our image screen. Okay, now you can of course play around with this. This is a 32 by 32, so it went into the 32 by 32 pixels, and that's where it's showing. As I said, you can play around with this to get it in different locations. If you want to, we can resize that to a 64 by 64. I could use Photoshop to go and put it into a different size. So I'm going to go and do that now and we'll see how that works. So we're here in Photoshop now. Photoshop is really cool and it's quite advanced, but obviously I don't expect everyone to be using Photoshop. That's why we have paint and we also have the Windows photo mode where we can use that. But if you do have Photoshop, this is really cool because you can come in here and you can actually specify the size of the screen that we're designing for. I'm designing for a two by two screen. So you'll notice here on the right hand side, we have the width and the height. I've set that to 64. We also have where it says pixels. Make sure it's on pixels. That way we're gonna get a 64 by 64 screen. Once we have that, you can also make sure the resolution is one pixel, one resolution per pixel. Happy days, click on create. You will notice we've got this really, really small box. We're just gonna go and zoom in on it. Okay, that way you can actually see this is in theory our 64 by 64 screen. Now we could actually add the grid lines on here. I'm not going to. Now the first thing we want to do is I want a black background. So I'm just going to use a simple rectangle and I'm going to put a black background in. Very easy, very simple. The next thing is I'm going to go and insert my logo here. Now you'll see I just dropped down my logo and it's already gone and put it in here. Now I can resize this to whatever size I want. So I'm going to put it to, yeah, about that size is fine for me. And I can re, I can put it anywhere on my screen. Remember this black box is my 64 by 64, my two by two screen. So I'm going to put it wherever I want to. Now I think about, uh, probably about there would be fine for me. And I'm going to click okay. Once I've done that and I clicked okay, you can see now it's gone and processed it and it's pasted it down. It's got all the nice shading around it, the black background, really cool. I'm gonna export this again as a PNG and we're gonna upload it into the tool again. So now that we've exported it out of Photoshop, I can go and get it back into this tool. Now to do that, all I have to do is click on select image. So I'm gonna go and do that right now. Once I've selected it, you'll notice it's gone and processed it again. And you'll see here, this is our image. Fantastic. Great, all we have to do is go and copy and paste the code again, the string. We can go back into the game. And once we're in the game, we can go back to our data screen, go back into our actual data screen Lua block, delete all the old code that we put in here earlier and paste the new one. We can then click on done, we can update it, and we can spawn it in. And we should see we have a really nice logo and it should be in the center of our screen. And there we go. Okay, you can adjust the colors if you need to. I've just obviously just put in my logo and that's what it's gone in red there. Really quite nice. Okay. You can add any images you want to. It's completely up to you. But anyway, I thought I'd share how you guys can get your images into Lua. Hopefully this has been somewhat informing and good and useful for you guys for your creations. But let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see in the next Lua episode. 
I'm up to it. I'm thinking of doing some more touchscreen things with some throttles and all kinds of things on touchscreen. But you guys let me know once again in the comments below. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.